I'm Thomas Parker with Infocon at the uh, Battery Show in Nova, Michigan, and we're releasing the ELT3000, which is an electrolyte battery cell leak tester. So I'd like to uh, go through the functionality and uh, the setup here of our ELT3000. So here we have the gas detection unit. This is the gas analyzer that's looking for the electrolyte solvent in the battery cell. This same product is actually used worldwide in refrigerator, freezer, and air conditioning manufacturers. So this is the gas analysis side of our ELT3000. The interface side here, we have a flexible chamber that's going to conform to the part of the uh, pouch cells specifically with a boundary layer over here to make sure that we don't cover up or mask a leak. So what I'm going to do, we've already found a leak in our calibrated orifice here. I'm going to close the lid like this so that we can do a uh, empty chamber test, if you will. So this would represent a good part and we would expect to see no electrolyte solvent in the chamber. So we're going to run about a 30 second cycle time. The chamber is uh, available in larger sizes, so we can test uh, multiple pouch cells, larger pouch cells uh, needed by the customer. So when the test is over, we're going to give a go-no-go, -go, and we're going to give a leak rate. Customer leak rates for battery pouches should be around 1 times 10 to the minus 5 millibar liter per second. So what we're going to see here with this empty chamber is uh, obviously a good part because we've got nothing in it. And we're going to have uh, no value higher than 1 times 10 to the minus 7 here. So that's 100 times, that's 100 times less solvent than what we're expecting to see. So when I open the chamber like this, I've got a calibrated leak here. And if you look at the certificate here, it's 1 times 10 to the minus 5 millibar liter per second. We're going to put this inside the flexible chamber. We're going to close the lid, which could be automated with uh, robotics and pneumatics. We've got the demonstration unit here set up for manual loading and unloading. So again, we're going to run about a 30 second cycle time. And if you look inside the chamber, you'll see how our flexible membrane is conforming around the calibrated leak device. That way we get minimal volume, and with the boundary layer, we don't clog a leak. So again, we're going to run about a 30 second cycle time. At the end of the measurement, we're going to have a displayed value, and we would expect it to be close to that calibrated leak sticker on the, uh, we call it the e-check. And we've got that accurate, repeatable value, one time centimized five millibar liter per second. We've got indications that there is solvent present with the uh, red, so this would be opened up and this would be scrapped because we're not having, uh, customers are not doing any kind of cell rework at the moment. So that's a simple tutorial on the ELT 3000.